Hey folks, what's up? Welcome back to another Pole Master video, and we finally have a bug week stage now. Uh, which means we can finally try out the uh, fullest extent, <laughs> I guess, um, of, of, of Ingo's uh, nuking capacities. Or I guess it's quick attack damage if you're interested in that. <laughs> Again, it's bug week stages. So uh, we're just we're, we're not gonna do 2k just yet. We're gonna start out with 1.58 just so we have, you know, max HP so we don't have any defenses just to you know see his damage right, uh, without anything else to bother it. And obviously we have relentless over here right, and then blind spot which are both obviously small multipliers for a sync nuke. The two sync nuke power up nodes, lick a tongue here to wrap and screech the opponent, and then Lilic fairy so it makes sure that our sync crits. Guaranteed. <laughs> Alright, let's uh let's let's get this. Alright. Let's see. We do that, get some screech in. It's an Alexam, shout out to Alexam. One of my top favorite Pokemon. Uh not my absolute favorite. You guys know what my absolute favorite is. <laughs> it's crazy that people ask, even though like it's literally in the channel local and like everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm very subtle about it. <laughs> Anyways. Okay, we got everything uh, set up here. Just need the nuke to go through. And needed to do some good damage for me. Alright. Alright. Let's see how it is. Let's see how this one is. Okay. I've waited for like four or five days for this. It better be good. Better be good. Okay, it's not terrible. <laughs> Look. Okay. Not everything has to be 99k. <laughs> it's still good. It's just not, you know. It's not anything, uh. We've seen better, <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure he's still the strongest bug type nuker in the game. Let me double check that. Let me, uh, let me fact check myself on that real quick over there. Yeah, and number two is not even close. He's at, let's see, um, 7.2 million, and then, like, number two, which is Emmett, is at, like, 2 point something million, right? Not very close. Uh, but, yeah, uh, easily the strongest um, bug-type nuker in the game. Just not 99k, but, again... I mean, it's overkill anyways. I mean, 60k is easily the full HP minus mode over here, right? I mean, it doesn't have strength, to be fair, but even even if it had strength, it's still gonna be a one shot. Trust me, it's still gonna be a one shot, right? Still gonna be a one shot, even if it had strength. Um, I mean, why talk about it? Let's try it. All right, I added an extra 50%, right? Or not 50%? Uh, plus five strength on top of the max HP, and uh, let's see the results. Let's see the results. Please don't let me down. <laughs> Come on, Ingo. Come on, Ingo. Do not disappoint. Again, it, it doesn't like even if it doesn't one shot. Although, actually, actually for Ingo itself, it might be like slightly problematic just because if you don't one shot, you are kind of in trouble because you don't really have anything else going for you, right? Um, personal damage wise so like if you bring like a full team a full team in here to support because Ingo if you want it if you want to get his max nuke off in the first nuke you need a full team to support him right and that just makes it so that you have like no damage elsewhere which kind of sucks right so you just kind of have to one shot the opponent just because again his quick attack damage is not very good right it's not very good uh, but that's why that's why again I've mentioned this multiple times before in my opinion, he's not that, he's not a unit that you should really, you know, joust for the first sync, right? Maximum sync, like, you, you should sync with the EX support first, right? Ah, still, one shot, yeah. Yeah, in my opinion, you should probably, um, because he is more of a zone setter, like, even if in comparison to something like, uh, you know, Skyle or whatever, or, 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 I don't know, whatever other examples, he is more of a zone setter than anything else again he is the strongest bug type nuker but just sync with your ex support first right sync with your ex support first have ingo set all this stuff up by himself six turns or whatever right have him sync 
the second sink, and then you could that third slot instead of bringing something like a Lickitung, which does absolutely nothing outside of just set and go up and then dies, right? Just throw in a secondary damage so it could actually have some damage in between the turns um, before you have to sink again, right? Or, or get a chance to sink again. So yeah, that's 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 that's, that's I guess um the 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 the, the Ingo philosophy here. But yeah, that's gonna be this one. I guess I uh, hope you all enjoyed. Let guys think in the comments down below. Like, share this video, subscribe to my channel for some more. Paul Mass's content, uh, go check out my Kenshin channel if you guys haven't already. If you, um, like Kenshin Impact, uh, don't check it out if you don't play the game. <laughs> it's alright, I won't be mad. And, uh, yeah, we'll be checking out some more, you know, bug zone, bug zone, bug type units as, as, as it comes, um, in the coming few days. So, uh, stay tuned for that as well, and, uh, yeah, have fun folks, good luck, I'll see you guys in the next one.